Hey everyone, welcome back to CryptoCash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. Hope you're having a great day. Another look at SUI, see what's going on. Holding the line at $2 even here pretty well. Or this is more so like $1.99, but it's a fairly round number, $2 being a good support for us. Um, there's potential to break down to retest this descending trend line, potentially fill that fair value gap as low as 189. I have an alert set for like the 190 range, just in case it comes down there, because I think that'd be a solid place for a long. Right now, it's I don't like the way that price action is moving, specifically with Bitcoin. We could very well see a corrective, uh, you know, wick down to the one what uh, the 69k range, and if so, then we'll probably see the 190s for SUI. Uh, but again, that's not bad. The overall trend here is still good. All moving averages have a lot of confluence in this 190 to 193 range. That's really awesome. We are also, and depending on how you look at it, um, so far holding a. Um, a bullish a bullish rectangle pattern here okay so you could argue a lot of different patterns are existing right now because this also is a double top so it's kind of scary in a lot of ways there's when you see conflicting patterns you really don't trade into patterns you never should anyways but just know that depending on how it breaks up or down could yeah, essentially you know move in, in in a certain direction based off that once more we're going to look at the responsible um you know fiduciary type of scenario here for you instead of hypothesizing on what ifs and could ifs based on patterns you know again you're reaching if you're looking at patterns sometimes right it should be a confirming factor with everything else uh, too anyways quick little congrats to our community here we adjusted our take profit targets for uh, near protocol we got a 25 percent short there uh 21 solana short and then a bitcoin 21 percent short as well so bitcoin solana near protocol the three shorts we have open right now at this point in significant profit again those are just like 5x leverage trades and only 10x bitcoin uh basically do the responsible thing if you're going to use leverage you have to keep it low folks because liquidation events are terrible and that's why we look at liquidation so you can understand where all the um emotional idiots or just the um you know those those dummies that have 50 to 100x leverage trades at any given time while they probably get a monumental amount of return at any any given point, they're getting destroyed left and right and they're not sharing that with you. So be very careful trusting anybody that shows how awesome they are with a super high leverage trade. They're basically gambling and, and showing you how good they are at it. The whole point of technical analysis is to take the gambling out of the equation. We increase our odds of success by understanding the overall trend and momentum. So let's look here. Liquidations on the left hand side. 215 to 225 is that upper range where people are pretty heavy on that. It doesn't necessarily mean they're they're high leverage shorts, but they are probably pretty high. The closer you get to local, uh, the local high in this case, uh, the, the the more likely they are to be higher leverage. Okay. And that's why a lot of times price just keeps going up because people just keep trying to short or the inverse as well for longs too. We can see there's a tremendous amount of long liquidation data about 160 to 150. The probability of seeing that again is pretty low. In fact, back when it was at 164 testing its key level support, I recommended not to take a long. All right, so hindsight 2020, of course, easy to say now, uh, but the truth is it was very irresponsible to take a long at that time because there was so many bearish divergences and you're always gonna hear that from me too. So future reference, I'll get things wrong, but a lot of times it's in the effort to make sure that nobody else gets destroyed. So I hope you can see that perhaps. If not, that's cool too. Pick up whatever you can in these videos. Don't forget to hit the like button too, folks. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Really awesome. So liquidation delta here for SUI. Uh, let's actually, hold on, let me let me refresh this here just to make sure we got the right chart pulled up because um, it's definitely, that definitely didn't look right. Uh, we can see a lot more longs than shorts here. Now you got to keep in mind, this is the same thing with Bitcoin recently. Let me pull up yesterday's Bitcoin analysis here. We can see that there is a tremendous amount of liquidation delta. Now I know you're here, you're probably rolling your eyes. Why the heck does Bitcoin have anything to do with this? Why are you doing that? The truth is Bitcoin is going to call the shots. And a lot of times Bitcoin pulls back SUI. Well, it'll just recover a lot faster. The whole point of me showing you this is that we had 8 billion liquidation delta, way too many longs, and now they're getting destroyed, right? That's when the price action was upwards of about 73,000. We shorted from 73,000 to, to low 71K range with good reason because that delta was too high. I'm bringing that to your attention because liquidation delta here for SUI is also too high. Okay, it's maintaining its range for too long. Now, this isn't like a massive amount, but if you keep this level too high for too long, it's going to naturally pull back. So that leads me to believe the 190s seems probable based on this metric alone. We don't take trades based on one thing, though, do we? No, we don't. We are not irresponsible. We are responsible. And we take a look here. 187 is that area of concentration for open interest. Uh, again, a lot of folks got in there when the price action uh, pulled basically was ready to put to, to to rake up there and it did okay so again a lot of times when you break through our local high establishes a new low continues higher um, so we're going to take a look at a few things here as well so daily time frame 
Let's quickly peek at the moving averages. I want to kind of preface here and let you know that for the most part, SUI is pretty, pretty well bullish. Uh, however, we obviously rejected with this doji candle here. Generally speaking, that's the sign of reversal at, a, at the top of an uptrend. And this 0.6 on the level at 207 to 210 is holding as resistance. So we're going to need a lot more volume to get through that. We had a strong volume day, but we're starting to taper off. Ergo, price action pulling back. The selling pressure is very natural. We do take a look here, though. We've got a significant fair value gap from that very greedy candle. So I'm not proposing we're going to see 180. But if the price continues to run down, that would be a logical place of consideration for long. Okay, again, I'm more so when I say those things, I refer to a long as a spot position. I'm not recommending you take a high leverage long in the blind at 178. But fair value gap, if, any, you know, if history ever repeats itself, which it does, by the way, by the way, Bitcoin's fair value gap, pretty much exactly filled here, <laughs> right there as low as 70,300, 70, got a candlewick perfectly to that level, okay? So again, these things exist for a reason uh, because market makers are very greedy and they're going to secure their profits. So what I could see or first see happening here is a lot of limit orders from market makers pushing the price action down to those levels where everyone is just pure pain. As soon as people start shorting, then they're gonna turn it around on us, right? That's why we look at liquidation delta and right now it's too high for longs. Has to has to correct itself. The only way that could correct itself without the price going down is people securing profit. People don't secure profit. They think everything's going to go to the effing moon, and it's stupid and ridiculous. It gets me kind of crazy when I think about it. You might be able to pick up on the passion there in my voice, but the whole point is to not be an idiot and to uh, you know just play your cards right. If you're if you're going to want to, no prof, no trader is ever profitable if they don't take profit. Like, it's so simple. Just get in there, close the trade. All right, I recommend limit orders over market orders, conversation for another day. Okay, so $2, we are over 50 on the RSI, that's generally bullish. Money flow index is below, below the price action. That leads me to, 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 to think here that we are not quite as strong as we should be, okay? We need more money flowing into this coin. Granted, we had one great day, but it's coming out now. Um, we need more money flow being above the RSI. In other words, we want people to think that's a good value, but also to have that backing of of volume, which we don't see just yet. Uh, right now, if we zoom out, let's see what our point of control is here for the recent past here. Ever since we've been in this range of 160 to 236, we can see we the most amount of volumes just below that 175 level. But secondary to that is that the current range we're in right now, the 202 to 206. So we are still working within that resistance range. Until we break free from 205 to 209, we have no consideration to take a long. I know, I know, it's crazy. Wait a minute, this guy's recommending I take a long after the price goes up? It doesn't make any sense, but that's how you're supposed to trade, really. Again, trading doesn't make a ton of sense from the, from the outside looking in, but as you spend more time in the, in the market, you understand it's just a, it's, sometimes it's a big, it, it's a big upside down, completely opposite of what you think it would be kind of game, right? It's all about manipulation and getting people to, you know, trapping late longs and late shorts. And the fact of the matter is with too many high leverage traders out there, <laughs> the market moves the way that it does because of that, right? If everybody stopped using leverage, we'd have natural, normal, corrective patterns. <laughs> we don't now. So that, you know, we got to calibrate. Anyways, we got a fair value gap here again, down as low as 189 on a smaller time frame. That's a four hour time frame. We're still over all moving averages. So I do want you to recognize that if we do move into this range, there's a strong amount of confluence, a lot of confirming factors that we should bounce from there. Okay. So I think 190 still seems like a really good value at this point. Uh, MACD is diverging. We are over 50 on the RSI. So it's a bit of a conflict. Once again, you have too many things pointing in different directions, you don't want to take a trade, okay? And I know, I know, I'm going to be chastised. Pretty much every day, somebody has to mention some kind of stupid thing of, you know, how either wrong I was or, more importantly, just how stupidly conservative I am and how I'm never going to make any money. That's okay. I, I don't mind that. What I, what I do mind, though, is people forcing trades and inevitably getting destroyed and then coming over to my community asking me to recover their portfolio. While I can do that slowly with our trades that we have that are successful, just, you can't, you can't unteach stupid, all right? So stop being dumb, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Anyways, I hope you make, that makes sense to you. If you felt kind of butthurt about that, you probably are being dumb. That's the funny thing about it. But you should probably laugh about that because that really shouldn't be you. Just don't be a statistic. Okay, <laughs> back on track. Last but not least here, we're going to look at the hourly. The four-hour time frame, though, is breaking bearish, but hasn't fully confirmed yet. So just know that we're in this transition, and generally you don't trade into transitions. You trade with confirmation. We don't truly have that yet. However, this range is looking pretty solid. If you take a look at this here, this is a nice bullish type of rectangle. I do like this here. The likelihood of break up versus down is higher 
because we have a lot of confirming support below the price action, okay? Even though we have some momentous uh, scenarios here saying, hey, we could see a pullback. If Bitcoin maintains its range, I think we're gonna break the 210 barrier and potentially back test that as a bullish, uh, bullish confirming factor and continue higher. So me, I'm really looking for a long at 208, 209 after it's been broken and retested as support, okay? Again, you get in where the trend is. You don't try to, to be a breakout trader. Breakout traders are super unsuccessful in the current market. They're only ever successful in bullish uptrends, and most everybody's always right in bullish uptrends. Okay. Anyways, uh, Ichimoku Cloud. This confirms that there's no trade to be taken right now. The lagging span is intersecting with the price action, conversion lines below the baseline, slight bearish divergence, but we're above the cloud or within the cloud, essentially confirming that we do still have confirmation for the price likely to go higher, but we are in this transition where it's not recommended to take a trade because the price could go lower too, having lost its momentum. All right, so that's kind of where we're at there. Um, it's interesting, but it's, it, it is what it is, right? So again, that's my thought process there. Generally speaking, you're gonna find more luck um, going down than up right now in the market, but that's as is right now. It's gonna probably change in a few hours. With SUI, I don't necessarily recommend shorting. I just recommend waiting for better long if that even happens, all right? Uh, but either way, add your spot back at $2. It's not the worst place ever. SUI does have a propensity to run pretty fast, pretty quick, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I hope it works out well for you, whatever, whatever trade you're in. And I want to say thanks so much for watching. Comment below if you get a chance. Make sure you check out BitUnix2, folks. The link's down below for this. This is a, a trading competition slash volume reward thing they're offering this next month. If you already use my link to register, you're all good. If not, make sure you use it just so you can benefit from that. They're awesome, folks. No KYC, no VPN. They've been a great exchange for us for over a year now. Uh, it's our, our community favorite. So appreciate y'all. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Look forward to seeing the next one. Take care.